please share your name and where are you from? I'm Christy from Las Vegas, Nevada. Can you please share with us, how was your life like before your uh, deliverance? So my parents had me as teenagers, so my dad was a gangbanger, never around. Uh, my mom was a party girl, never to be found. So my grandparents raised me, um, and I have no memory of my parents ever being together, so they would co-parent. Living with my mom, she had a drug dealer boyfriend, so I was raised in a trap house, which is where drugs are packaged and sent out. So I seen drugs all over the kitchen counter, all over the table, bedroom stand, everywhere. At the age of like three, five, seven, it was for years that I experienced this. Um, random people in and out the house. Um, so I battled abandonment issues from both of my parents. Um, so around the age of 10, depression started to kick in. And by the age of 12 and 11 years old, it was in full effect demonic. I would hear voices to kill myself. I would drown myself and have no control. And I'm telling myself, Christy, you're gonna die. Stop drowning yourself. And I could not stop. I would bite myself and same thing. I would be like, Christy, you're hurting yourself. This, this hurts, stop doing this. And I couldn't do it. And at times I would look at myself in the mirror and I would tell myself, if you tell anybody, we're gonna kill you. So I was terrified to tell anybody what was going on with me because I was scared that whatever was going on and controlling me, that they were gonna kill me. Where were you in search of solution and how did you come to know Jesus and how did your deliverance take place? So with all that going on, I had a stepmom whose family was Christian, who I've known Jesus since the age of three. But I've always heard Jesus knows me, he knows me, but he doesn't watch me. How could he watch me if this is all going on in my life, right? So I thought. Um, so at the age of 19, I followed in my mom's footsteps. I met a drug dealer boyfriend. I went to go live with him, come to find out his family is in full effect witchcraft. I seen it all over the house, like just weird things. Um, so I went running to the only place that I knew that could protect me, which was the church that I was raised in. Um, and I, I gave up. I was like, God, I did it my way my whole life. I got nowhere. I'm done. I can't protect me from this witchcraft. So back in January, um, I started the cycle of depression again, but this time with the drinking, the partying, and um, my boyfriend, the drug dealer boyfriend, who is now saved in my husband. Um, <laughs> Come on! <laughs> He's recording her testimony. I got it so good. Wow. We had broken up. I kicked him out the house. I was like, I don't want to be with you. This is it. I started to party and everything. And six months later, he came knocking on my door. He's like, it's enough. The torment is enough. I'm tired of seeing you like this. You need help. I'm taking you to Pastor Vlad's church. I got so scared. I was like, I don't want to go. But it wasn't my fear. Now I know it was my demons being scared. And he was like, no. We're gonna go. And I was like, okay, fine, 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 let's go. And uh, then I came here and I told him, I said, nothing's gonna happen. Like, I already started being delivered at home. Sure enough, <laughs> craziness happened. <laughs> and so, what did you experience during the deliverance? So, during the depression, I had about like 200 voices in my head some in languages that I didn't even understand. So when I started to manifest, it was like all the voices that were in here were now speaking and manifesting and now I could hear the voices out loud. And I had no control over it. And I remember beforehand, they said, just surrender. Just surrender to the Holy Spirit. Let him do what he has to do. And remember in that time, I'm so scared while I'm manifesting and I could hear Jesus speaking to me. Just let it happen, Christy. I'm setting you free. <laughs> Come on, this is so awesome. Woo. Jesus is so, so good. Amen. So what is the difference that you see in your life now after you receive your deliverance? Um, before I was just always so angry, so sad, complaining all the time. I just was not happy. Now I, I laugh a lot more, I smile a lot more. My husband's even like, you're nicer now. <laughs> um, when things happen in my life, I, I don't, I don't look at that. I look at Jesus. So now everything that was this big is nothing at all to me anymore. And um, and now I don't tolerate demons in my home. As soon as I feel them, I kick them out. 
Hey guys, thank you for watching this testimony. If you or anybody that you know is interested in deliverance, we have a few opportunities here at Hungry Gen. We have our monthly digital deliverances. We also have monthly prayer lines that happen every last Sunday of the month. And we host our yearly Race to Deliver conferences all over the USA. If you are interested in any more information, just go to hungrygen.com deliverance. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.